नमस्ते नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स हार्टी वेलकम फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर दिस सेशन बहुधा है ना वे बैक इन 800 हंड्रेड बी सी है सजेस्टेड ए मेथेड ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ए सर्कल विच इज इक्वल इन एरिया टू ए स्क्वायर एंड द सोर्स फॉर दिस इज शुल्व सूत्रास रिटर्न बाय बोधायन एंड अदर्स चैप्टर नंबर टू सूत्रा टू पॉइंट नाइन सो दिस इज द मेथड ही हेज सजेस्टेड सो हियर इज ए स्क्वायर ए बी सी डी वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ सर्कल विच इज इक्वल इन एरिया टू दिस स्क्वायर ए बी सी डी सो हियर इज अ स्क्वायर ए बी सी डी वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ स्क्वायर we have to construct a circle which is equal in area to this square okay here we go this is the method he has suggested so let each side of the square be 2a units uh, we shall mark the midpoints of the opposite sides and join them like this so that they will bisect each other at right angles and call this point of bisection as o so that the the length of the segments be equal to a units okay now uh let us join o and a and try to find out the length of oa how to find out the length of oa for this we have to call this point of intersection as h and we know that angle a h o is 90 degree and a h is a units so by applying the pythagoras theorem for right triangle a h o we can easily calculate the length of a o so therefore o a square is equal to a square plus a square which is uh, 2 a square okay so taking square root on either sides we get o a is equal to a root 2 so the length of a root 2 is the length of a o is a root 2 units so this is the first step so let's go to the uh, next slide now this is the uh, vertical line so the next step is he says that this vertical line has to be extended okay let us do that extension in broken lines so that let in order to make this line clear let us uh, dissolve this vertical line for some time and call this point as e so we have to extend this vertical line to e from o such that this oe has to be equal to oa and we know oa is a root 2 units therefore oe is also equal to a root 2 units so the length of oe is a root 2 because we have extended this line in such a way that oe is equal to oa now the next point is this let uh, uh, g be the point of uh, intersection of this eo and ad okay now on this line oe we need to uh, select a point like this call it as f such that this length from o to f that is the segment of should be like this of should be equal to og the length of og that is from here to here and a part of this eg how much what part of eg means he says that it has to be One third of GE. So this uh, uh, this GF has to be one third of GF. So the total length from distance from O to F is OG plus GF, and GF is one third of uh, GE. This is what he suggests. Wonderfully, he suggests. Now, with uh, O as center. with uh, take compasses with o as center and with o f as uh, the radius we have to draw a circle like this okay this is the circle this is the required circle whose area equal to the given square so with o as center 
with OF as radius. You know what is OF? OF is equal to OG plus one third of GE. GE is this segment, small segment. In this, we need to take one third of this. So, OG plus GF has to be the radius with O as center and with OF as radius. If we can draw this circle, he says that this is the required circle whose area is equal to the area of the square ABCD. So, let us uh, uh, justify this uh, construction now. Okay. Yes, this is the figure. So, we know that uh, OF is equal to OG plus one third of uh, GE. Okay. Now, uh, let us write down the proof. OF is equal to OG means this length is actually A units. From O to G it is in fact A units. So, it is A plus one third of G. Uh, can we write this uh, G E like this? This distance G E. Can we write it like this as O E minus O G? O E is this. The full segment OE from that if you subtract OG don't you think we get GE so GE can be written as OE minus OG okay the next step so it is OF is nothing but the radius of the circle is OF which is equal to A plus one third of OE OE is actually it is equal to AO which is A root 2 so, we can write in place of OE as A root 2 minus OG. OG is in fact uh, A units only. So, therefore, we can write minus A. Okay. Shall we uh, simplify this friends? So, OF is A plus or we can take out A as the highest common factor. See, A here also A, here also A, it is, it is found in all the terms, therefore it is the highest common factor. So divide each and every term by A, so A divided by A is 1, so for this plus we write this plus and this, so here A is the highest common factor for these two terms, so we will write one third of root 2 minus 1. So, this is taking out A as the highest common factor. Okay, the next step OF is equal to A into 1 plus, we will remove the bracket here. Okay, multiply these two terms by 1, 1 by 3. So, it will become root 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Okay, on further simplification, we can uh, simplify 1 and uh, 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3 is in fact 2 by 3. So, therefore, A into 2 by 3 plus root 2 by 3. Here also, we can take out 1 by 3 as the highest common factor and we can write the radius of this circle as A by 3 times 2 plus root 2. So, this is the radius of the circle, the required circle, where A is the half of the length of the side of the square. In other words, we have expressed the radius of the circle in terms of the sides of the uh, square only. Okay. So, OF is the radius of the circle and it is expressed in terms of the sides of the square only. And you know that area of the square is uh, 2a into 2a which is 4a square. Okay. If you can show that area of the circle is also 4a square, then we can definitely say that this is the circle whose area is equal to this square a, b, c, d. Okay. So, let us find out now the area of the a circle. Okay. Uh, Bodhayana himself has given a series for the value of root 2. Let us uh, make use of that. So, this is the value of Bodhayana for root 2. He says root 2 is approximately equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 minus 1 by 3 into 4 into 34. 
such a beautiful series he has given this is correct to on the five decimal places so this on simplification will give us 577 by 408 and on division approximately we can say 1.4142156 etc so this is correct to the first five decimal places so let us make use of this value and substitute here and find the radius of the circle okay so that you are seeing in the next slide now let us substitute root 2 as 1.412156 and on simplification it became 3.412156 okay let us divide this by this 3 so that we get our radius is approximately a into uh, 1.1373853 etc since area of a circle is pi r square so we need r square in the next step so let us find out r square in this slide only and r square is a square into this so this is the uh, square of the radius of this circle bodhayana has also given a series for the value of pi and he says pi is equal to 4 into 1 minus 1 by 8 plus 1 over 18 into 29 minus 1 over 18 into 29 into 6 Plus one over eight into twenty nine into six into eight. So this is the series Bodhayana has given for the value of pi also. Okay, on simplification, this is approximately three point zero eight eight five. So let us make use of the value of pi. We have already found out r square. So that let us find out the area of the circle now. So this is the formula for the uh, yeah the radius of the circle. We know the root two value. Ah, uh, so r square is this, and pi is also this. So that area of the required circle is pi r square. So pi into r square means this. So a uh, yes square into this. So this on multiplication we get a square into three point nine nine five four two three five seven two eight two etc. So this is almost very very nearer to four a. Therefore we can say that it is a square. Times four or four a square, it is just short of zero point zero zero four five seven six only. So accurately, he has found out the area of the circle using pi and root two only. Okay, so this is the English translation of the sutra two point nine. okay and he say it it can be translated like this if it is desired to transform a square into a circle half the diagonal is stretched from the center to the east with one third added to the remainder remainder means that half of the diagonal in order to get the required circle so if you can perform this you are going to get the circle whose area is equal to the given square so a great uh, uh, salute a great pranams to bodhayana for having uh, uh, given us uh, the uh, series uh, for the value of for pi and root 2 also and thought of converting a rectilinear figure to a curved closed figure of the same area okay now in 800 bc only friends okay yes so can you think of this now friends is it possible to construct a square which is equal in area to a circle can you reverse this process this is briefly called as two square or squaring a circle okay i request all of you to think about this method also hope you have enjoyed the construction along with the justification thanks for watching namaste namaste friends